What's up guys, Yenzer back again with another Clash Dummies War Recap. <clears throat> Excuse me. This time we are going to be recapping this war against that clan there. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. A little backstory on this war. As I scroll through what they did to our bases, uh, we had a spy actually come into our clan from the other team, and uh, we didn't catch it. He uh, screenshotted, he or she, screenshotted all of our bases and took them back to their clan and snitched on us. Um, that said, you can see the score, you can see what happened to them, and you can see our bases and the destruction that they caused. Uh, the real difference here, whenever I go into the war stats, is the amount of three stars versus the amount of two stars. Uh, another thing to note, uh, in this war, we were all, all, we were also outmatched. Uh, the other clan had two Town Hall 11s, uh, and I believe three, no, it was two other Town Hall 10s, so they had their top four bases, uh, were two Town Hall 11s, two Town Hall 10s, and we had four Town Hall 10s in the war. Uh, we were able to get one two-star on one of their Town Hall 11s. Thanks to a great attack by Bear. Again, I'm not going to be showing any Town Hall 10 attacks uh, just for now uh, because I do not uh, have any first-hand knowledge uh, on how to do it at Town Hall 10. Um, but I'm going to go through. I got a few. Uh, as you can see, Bear got the most heroic. Um, another thing to note is that we were actually down 20 stars with uh, or 11 stars with 20 minutes left in this war and we pulled this all out at the end I'll go into that little bit of destruction here at war events and you can see how much we did in the last okay so we have a three star by Dustin three star by legend three star by Bill uh, three star by Curtis which was a town hall 10 dip we got the two star on their town hall uh, 11 by bear we got a huge dip by Shola but n it was absolutely necessary as you see it added two stars to our war count and we have another Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 10 action with uh, Ogden versus Paulius uh, with three minutes left and Proto uh, again my brother um, taking out number eight to add that final star to give us the three star margin of victory that you see there I'm gonna hop right into it number seven uh, this is going to kind of showcase how bad southern teaser bases are nowadays we're gonna watch Buckfutter fail quite a bit here <clears throat> just uh, sending wall breakers too early dropping a rage and a desperation to try to get their wall breakers to break the wall it, it's pretty funny how it all goes down you'll see he dropped four wall breakers and a rage and that wall did not go down um, now in desperation he's going to be sprinkling in these wizards to try to force his queen to go north, which she does, thankfully. Um, now, he really wanted to get in there and be able to take out the enemy archer queen. It's not going to happen now, so again in desperation. Drops his golem to start his attack to try to get his queen into that compartment just for maybe some shred of hope that she goes down there and tries to target the enemy archer queen. She does not, but thankfully she does uh, break through that wall with the golem. <clears throat> To start working around the top here. We're going to watch her go ahead and tear through that wall. He's going to drop the king for some added support. Not a whole lot of damage coming into him right now. Uh, and thankfully that air sweeper is nice enough to come in there and push his healers away from that air defense. That was really nice of that. So still working around. I'm going to zoom back out here because the hound and the loons are going to come in from the south and overwhelm this base he does drop a heal for his golem and king up there uh, again not taking too much damage but just precautionary i think maybe rages uh, or maybe some haste in place of that to help the loons along might have been a better option but who am i to judge a three star and uh, yes i'm letting the cat out of the bag but you already saw it he does get the three star on this attack so he doesn't take out the queen he wall breaker fails he loses a rage spell and he still is able to take out this Southern Teaser, guys. That is how bad Southern Teaser bases are to use these days. As you see, there is a dragon that came out of the clan castle. That doesn't help him out at all because that's something that can target his loons and his hounds. So, 
uh, that dragon is going to pop this other hound here in just a second. And there you see that. So now he's out. He's out of hounds. He has eh, probably somewhere between 10 and 15 loons that were still in the uh, in the fight. But there's still one air defense left, and that air defense and the queen are going to be pummeling his loons here. As you see, they take them all out. Uh, that archer queen and that Tesla now working on the other group. No more loons left, just a few pups, and you can see there are uh, air bombs taking out his pups. Uh, thankfully, he does have a golem up, which is keeping a lot of heat off of his queen right now. She's going to go ahead and take out that Tesla as the king works on these storages down here at the bottom with a few archers and a few lava pups that are left. I'm going to fast forward this because you can see what's going to happen. They have just enough life left to get the job done. Only one archer tower remaining, <clears throat> and now it is down as well. Nothing to target his troops. They're going to beat through that wall, and they're going to take out that camp for the three-star. I was going to include another southern teaser style base in this, but it is just it's just too easy to take these bases out. I just wanted to show you guys, if you didn't know already, stop using those bases. Do not use those bases in war. If you want to do it on the farm, by all means, go ahead and, and, and set that as your main base. Uh, it's still not very useful, but to each their own. Uh, we're going to watch a somewhat more clean attack. Uh, this is going to be prototype. Uh, I offered him a little bit of redemption uh, from his failed attack, uh, failed live attack in the last war recap. Everything goes smooth here at the beginning. You'll see his uh, objective here is to get in there, take out the sweeper, the two air defense, the uh, crossbow, and the enemy archer queen, which he is going to have no problem doing. And uh, I really like that he notices his queen uh, only takes out the uh, bottommost air defense, um, or that's the only air defense that's down when he decides to start sending his hogs and or hounds and loons in. And the reason he does that is because he knows that his archer queen is going to target that other air defense next after she is done beating on this enemy king. So there she is, and you see the hounds coming in already. Now he does get a little bit get into a little bit of trouble on the backside where he kind of forgets, I don't know if he forgets, or if he's just a little bit late uh, on the Hound drop for that remaining air defense up there. He does lose a lot of balloons to that. I think he could have gone ahead and got that Hound in probably four or five seconds earlier. Uh, again, you have that air sweeper kind of pushing the Hound back. He loses all of those loons down in that direction, but that Hound is going to tank just enough for these remaining six balloons to get the rest of this base cleaned up. You'll see uh, a few of the loons do get taken out by the archer tower, uh, and they are going to get taken out by that wizard tower there. So he has three balloons left and one hound, but that hound gets out front because it is in the rage and just a shred faster than the loons. That, that hound is not going to pop, but you can see all the defenses are down. He has plenty of cleanup on the back side, and his queen still remaining. And with the extra 30 seconds, he's going to get this base cleaned up pretty easily. So that one, like I said, uh, a little bit more smooth than Buck's three-star, uh, but a little bit of a struggle nonetheless. It doesn't matter because the job was done. He got the three-star, and he got uh, he helped the clan win this war. I'm going to go down to 13 here. Uh, we're going to see a Town Hall 9 dragon attack. He has <clears throat> one Town Hall 9 max air defense. And uh, the other ones are, are level 6 ARDs, and he does have one crossbow that is uh, ground only. Uh, don't do that in war also, guys. If you have uh, Inferno Towers, make sure they're set on multi, and if you have uh, Expos, make sure they're set on air and ground. As you see, he's going to take out the two air defenses in the center, which is a smart idea because he can go straight at the other air defenses with his dragons and I suspect I did not watch this attack he wisely lures out the dragon uh, and is going to kill that outside of the base that is a great move for him there I'm assuming he's going to go right at one of the other air defenses with his dragons right there uh, I might have oh I didn't see his clan castle that he has yet to deploy my assumption is that he probably has another Either he has loons, 
or there you are, he has another hound. Uh, I might have waited until the dragons got most of the way through this base before sending that hound in. And the reason I would have done that is because I would have had that sitting on that bottom air D when the dragons started to get into range. Uh, but again, we're going to fast forward this one 2x because dragons do move quite slowly. And his archer queen, he actually had a plan there. His archer queen is going to get in there and take out this air defense and do some damage around that side of the base. His king uh, walked up around the right, which is allowing his or his dragons to take out fewer uh, fewer buildings on their route through the rest of this base. As you can see, there's only a few uh, defenses that can target his troops down here at the bottom. He has uh, two archer towers and one Tesla. That's not going to be enough damage coming in. And uh, his dragons, he has plenty of them to clean up this base. <clears throat> I assume they're going to get targeted. Yeah, they do get targeted on the king. No big deal because right now... Uh, only one can be targeted by that archer tower, and that archer tower is going to go down in just a second. Wizard towers do not do a whole lot of damage to dragons because they are much better at, uh, at groups of troops as they are splash damage. And he's going to get down here to this last uh, dark spell factory and clean up the raid. And just for some variety, uh, I did have my mini account in this war. I say many. It is a max town hall nine uh, minus uh, walls, and I have four king levels left. Uh, I have a go uh, go vaho chain uh, trained up here, and I meant to go in on sixteen, but sixteen by the time my troops were uh, trained up was already hit. So I adapted my attack, and as you can see, he was nice enough to leave that piece of wall missing right there. That is a design in the base. That's not an accident. And uh, I'm going to exploit that by using it to get into that center. <laughs> I don't really want to show my attacks uh, in the wars uh, just because I want to showcase what the clan is doing. Um, I I'm proud of what they are able to do uh, since I've come back, uh, having nothing to do with me aside from maybe a little inspiration to start using the hogs and the Govaho strats and just thinking outside of the box instead of just training up your normal Town Hall 9 uh, Go Wee Wee. And uh, I mean, they were using hogs to begin with, but I just kind of like helped them along and, and helped them stay with it. Uh, that's a big thing when you're learning these strategies is it's frustrating. Uh, y you have trouble scouting bases at the beginning, and you smack a giant, a double giant bomb set, and uh, end up losing the raid. You get one star, you get no stars, you get frustrated. You don't want to do it anymore uh, as far as using those attack styles, and you give up on them, and uh, I don't think that's the way to go. I think just per being persistent with it. So... I have the Valks and my Golem in here. Uh, I did save my Golem, uh, just a shred of health there with that heal spell. That wasn't my intention. I just, I, I wanted to use a heal on the Valkyries just to have them survive into the core. As you can see, along the bottom side of this base, there is no spot for any giant bombs. So my hogs are pretty safe, and I'm able to hold on to two heal spells until basically the end of the raid. Look how few defenses are left. I still have a hog to deploy. Um, I kind of just burned it on that cannon. I knew the cannon wasn't going to die. I'm going to use the final hill spell here <clears throat> as they clean up the rest of this base. Uh, I do hit a lot of spring traps on the back side here as I was able to path around them at the first uh, pass of the base. But I do have enough hogs to get the job done. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. Use my king's ability to get my barbs in the fight. And my hogs are just going to walk around the base and uh, and help clean up along with the wizards that I have left. Um, no Valkyries survive to the end of this attack, which is unique. Usually you do have some Valkyries that do survive. But that is the end of the war. I'm going to preview the next war here for you guys. Again, uh, heavily outmatched, but not a big deal. As you can see, we're taking four Town Hall 10s to the fight. And all the way down to 16 is uh, our final Town Hall 9. And if I go over to the enemy team, um, you can see Town Hall 11s, Town Hall 10s. They even have some rushed Town Hall 10s sprinkled in low on the base, or, or low in their map. Uh, they have down to 18 is Town Hall 9s. Uh, I will 
preview this base. As you can see, no Archer Queen, but they do have a, a, an Expo. Uh, this one will get cleaned up probably by Town Hall 9. Uh, so will the, their number 17. I mean, just look at the bases you get set up with. I, I'm saying we're getting outmatched, uh, but we do not have any rushed bases. Um, our top Town Hall 9s have, or Town Hall 10s have, you know, tw level 25, 25 heroes and, uh, and are able to take out their bases pretty handily, as you can see here. Uh, level 26 and 27 heroes. It is a max Town Hall 10. 10 it looked like if I could find the other yeah it was a max town hall 10 uh, but nothing uh, aside from a few cannons I suppose and uh, they did leave their uh, eagle artillery kind of exposed but as, as we go through this a little bit you'll see the hero um, levels start to fall dramatically and the base designs are poor so uh, I suspect we'll end up winning this one as well. I'm not really afraid. As you can see, the war does start in one hour and nine minutes. Um, we'll see what happens. I should be out with the war recap on that one in, well, two days now. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, this is your boy Yinzer. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. I will be coming out with more Clash of Clans and Call of Duty videos. Uh, again, I appreciate you stopping by and have a great evening.